Once you've installed your printer and your software, uh, it's now time to focus on the artwork portion of it. Um, we're using Corel X7 in this segment. Um, this is pretty relatable to older versions of Corel as well. We're going to show you how to create a basic cut line um, uh, so it's compatible with VersaWorks. Um, as you can see, I've already imported my image. It's vectorized. Uh, it's clean, good to go. Um, but what we have to do first is import our color palettes. To do that, you'll go to Window. Go down to Color Palettes, and you'll want to click on Color Palette Manager. Once this is up, you can see Roland works with Corel, so you don't have to input anything or copy any swatches or anything like that. Um, you'll simply just have to turn on these little eyeballs here, and you can see they dock over right there to the right. So once I have those docked, I'm good to go. This color up here, it's, a, it's almost a magenta looking color. You can see if I hover over it, it says Cut Contour. Um, this is going to be your best friend if you're trying to print and cut. You'll always want to use this color um, as it's going to be able to recognize as the cut line. If, if you don't have this around there, um, it's not going to cut. So um, we always want to use this if we're, if we're attempting to do that. So to do a basic cut line, you can either select the whole image by just dragging and, and uh, selecting it all, or you can press Control A, whatever your preference is. Um, from there, we need to create a boundary. And you can either do that by pressing this little button up here. We have it docked up top here. Or you can go to um, Arrange, Shaping, and Boundary. Now once I've done that, it put an actual boundary around the whole image here. After I have that established, I want to come back to my Cut Contour and I want to right click on the cut contour button. It's very important that you right click. Um, if I left click, which people are normally used to, you can see it fills the whole image and that's not what we're trying to achieve. Um, so we'll come over here and we'll right click on our cut contour and that put a thin cut line around everything. Now in this image, it created a boundary around the whole object, but we have some spacing in between here. Um, so we have to use what's called the Smart Fill tool to get these cavities out. Otherwise, this isn't going to be cut out. It'll just be the white media behind it. So to access the Smart Fill tool, it is this guy over here, um, right on the left side, Smart Fill tool. You'll click on it, and I'm already set up here, but it, normally it'll pop up as use default or specify. Um, what you want to do on the Fill option is you want to click No Fill because um, we don't want to fill that with a color, we just want to, to, to put the cut line on the inside of it. So for the outline, um, we'll keep that as specify, and the easiest way to get this is to grab your little color dropper here, and come over to your cut contour, and just click on it. Um, we're all done with the right click, so you don't have to do that anymore, you, just, you, can, you can go back to how you normally do it. Um, I like to change the point to a hairline, um, that way it's not cutting too deep into it. And after you've done that, all you'll have to do, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, all you'll have to do is you can see it's a crosshair and you just click inside the areas that you want cut. And I'll zoom in a little bit more, but I think it covered pretty much all of it. And it did. So after you've done this, All you'll have to do is select the image, file, export, and you always want to export it as an EPS. Um, if all else fails, you can export it as a PDF, but we prefer to export it as, a, as an EPS. Um, I'll just put mine on the desktop for the meantime. Export it. Make sure that this convert spot colors is not checked because we don't want to... Um, and this actually should be RGB, um, but uh, we don't want to convert any spot colors because they're there for a reason. So just make sure that's not checked. You should be good to go. Click OK. And then I'll pull it up in VersaWorks here. So I'll add the job. I believe that was saved as Koi. Yep. And I know right away that my cut lines uh, established correctly because of the special items right here. It has this little A and if you hover over it, it says normal cut. Um, but if you're still a little concerned, what you can do is you can actually click into the job settings and I can already see right here, but um, there's these red dots going around here and what those are called is we call them, it's a term, we call them dancing ants. 
um, to make sure that those are around. If they're not, it's not going to cut. But another, another way you can check on that is if you go under the Cut Controls tab here and you go to the Operation and click Cut Only, I can see my, my, my whole cut line. That's the basics of creating a cut line in Corel, and we are good to go. Thank <laughs> you.